Welcome back everybody. It's time for another unboxing. Today we have something really unique and very special to Force of Will. They just recently celebrated their 10th anniversary. And with that, they released a brand new product. This right here, the Ruler Collection Set. All the rulers from the past 10 years, I believe there's like 142 different rulers in this set. A lot of them are the reprints of the original J rulers with full foiling on both sides. I'm super excited to open this thing up. It's gonna be awesome because some of the J rulers I don't have and it's just awesome to have this nice celebratory 10 year collection set. I will say I was pretty shocked by the size of the box. I didn't think it was gonna be this tiny. The picture online, I'll show it here, made it seem like it was gonna be like this bigger box. So I, was, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. This came in the mail. I was like, whoa, that's small. But that's okay. I get it. You got like probably cards here, cards here. We're going to open it up in just a second. Either way, I'm super stoked. I collect all the J rulers. So this set is right up my alley. And I also do know the couple big cards that fold open J rulers. They actually did split those into two separate cards to, you know, make it easier for the collectors and whatnot. So that'll actually be really nice as well. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like on it and make sure to subscribe for more Force of Will content. I've got lots of boxes and stuff to open up and we're going to be jumping back into Underworld of Secrets again to look for some more of those secret rares. All right, so let's see here. Look at this box, huh? This looks super nice, super clean, very, very shiny. Holy crap, you can see the full reflection of myself right there and the camera, which is pretty funny. But let's go ahead and get the packaging off or here. Let's take a look at the back. Anything, anything in the back here? We'll see. Mm, yeah, 142 cards. Very cool. And then there, right there. He Who Grasps Ball and Unbound Princess of Time Kaguya are two cards of one kind. They will be split up. So there we go. That's what we just talked about. We got the slice in it. We're going to peel it open here. We're going to check out what we really have in store. I love the little texture on the box. Of course, it will is really well known for nice textured stuff. So I am pleased with this. All right, let's open it. Let's see the ruler collection. Oh my goodness me. Dang. Oh my gosh. These look, oh my gosh, they're stamped. Oh, they're stamped. Bring back the stamps, man. Or is this, okay. That doesn't look like they're textured stamped. It just looks like they put like that design stamp uh, on it, but it doesn't feel textured, but we're going to open up and see Grim straight at the top. I hope these are all like in order from first appearance. That would be amazing. And they got that beautiful little stamp, the 10th anniversary on it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's, uh, let's start looking through these. This is going to be a lot of fun. Nothing else in the box either. That's it. it. Just stores your cards and bang. Ah, pull tab. There's a pull tab. All right, excellent. Let's get the pull tab going and peel these off. It's going to be kind of hard to not show off cards that are behind others if we want to show off both sides, which I definitely do. So we shall see how it goes, but man, oh man, is this going to be amazing. Holy crap. Is this a, a thick stack of cards, but look at that. Grim, the fairy tale prince already looking phenomenal. And wow. Yeah. We're going to kind of have to show off the next card. Pandora. All of these are just beautiful full arts too. Holy crap. This is so phenomenal. Oh, they went red. How interesting, how interesting. That is really weird. All right, so it's just, I thought these were both sides foiled. Was that one not one that did that? I guess we'll see. We got Pandora. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, there it is, there it is. Look at that, Pandora of Light. Holy crap, I love this card. Such a nice card, such a cool card. Oh, and man, so I'm wondering, why did why did we get two here? Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, right, there's two. I, I don't have this one. I don't have Pandora of Dark yet, so that's really sweet. Oh my goodness. How am I going to display these, man? I might have to show off this side because that just looks beautiful. And again, that foiling is on both sides. It's actually super, super dope. That looks super cool. We got Little Red Riding Hood. Oh my gosh, another card that I don't have. I believe this is from Two Towers, right? Yeah, there we go. Little Red, the Wolf Girl. Wow. Dark, dark, dark on this card. All those shadows are really blending in, but whoo, Snow White, one of my favorites from that series, from that set. I love it. Bloody Snow White. There we go. Oh my goodness. Looks so cool. Nameless Girl. Ooh, big fan of this card. Let's flip her over because I love this card. What do we got behind it? Ooh, Blue Moon. I don't recognize that one. Bang. Let's see. Joanne D'Arc, the Flame of Hatred. Looking absolutely 
phenomenal. Wow. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I'm going to need a whole separate top loader binder for all these because this is just insane. Christy! Oh, Christy. Okay, this is the first Princess of the Moon. Okay, sorry. I'm not super familiar with the older sets because I've only opened them like once over. So some of the cards I haven't pulled, I don't recognize. <laughs> Kaiguya, Prince of the Moon. Fan freaking fantastic. I love Christie's look. The Wind Tracker. Big fan of that artwork. They need to, I don't know if that artist still works in Force of Will, but fantastic. Helsing, the Vampire Hunter flip side. Ah, oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning card. Puss in Boots. All right, we're getting some we can kind of go a little faster on because these aren't that, you know, no one really cares about Puss in Boots. We got Alucard, Dark Noble, into Dracula, the Demonic One. Classic, classic look here. That is fantastic. And we got Sacred Princess of Guidance. Very neat. So this is Lumia, right? This is Lumia? Yes, creator of hope. Fan. Oh my gosh, fantastic again. <laughs> it's just awesome looking. These look Phenomenal. I love the gold border too. The gold border looks really good. We got the Dragoon, the classic Dragoon, and we got Bamut, the Dragon King. Very, very sharp. And we got our first Alice, Alice in Wonderland, the classic girl herself with bang. Oh man, that pops. Wow. Drifter in the world, Alice. Oh my goodness me. These are phenomenal. We got Crimson Girl in the sky, transforming into... A Little Red, The True Fairy Tale, The True Girl Herself. My goodness, this looks amazing. Wow, I love this. We got Ebony Prophet flipping into Alharazd, The Harbringer of Despair. Not a fan of that artwork, but that's okay. We got our another Pandora Girl here, which is fine. Let's see, Weaver of Myth into Savior of the Myth. Very nice, very cool. Looks good, looks good. Now you, oh my gosh, all that corn in the background of this looks like straight up gold with that foiling hilarious apostle into Cain, the traitor of gods wow okay we got another kaiguya here princess of stellar wars we're getting into the sets i love the immortal princess from the moon priestess returns banger banger of a card banger of a look absolutely incredible let's keep going though we've got liberator of wind which one is this oh we got narla at the top all right shazarad teller of a thousand stories fan freaking fantastic fiend of the dark pyre it took me like four boxes to finally pull this j ruler but bang nara lethatep the faceless gods one of my favorites this is kind of one of the cards that made me uh get enticed to buy force of will it just looked so so cool love that guy arla the winged lord and that arla hegman demon of the sky not demon just hegman of the sky and we've got faria and we've got Faria, Ruler of the Sword. Banger, banger card. Love that artwork. We got Melgus. Not a huge fan of this one. He could look better. One Charmed by the Demon Sword. Classic Demon Sword. Valentina, Princess of Love. Now, is this the playmat we're using? I think it is. I love this side, though. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be hard to... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, Valentina, Ruler of Paradise is this one. All right, we'll have to find out. I forget which set this is in. Oh, it's Twilight Wanderer. I forget when that card pops up. But we got Parisia. Beast Lady, we've got Prissia commanding the Sacred Beast. Oh my goodness me, love that. All right, we're going to have to Rezard Undead and then Rezard Desecration Vampire. Fantastic Machinima. We got him over here, Mechanical Emperor. I don't have that one, actually. Alice again through the Looking Glass, Girl in the Looking Glass. And there we go, Saint of Healing. Beautiful, beautiful. The Girl in the Looking Glass again. And then we've got valkyrie of fairy tales banger banger alice that is so cool i love that look blazer gil rabbis blazer into blazer gil rabbis that is so cool man dang that full art is just beaming i love it alice girl of the lake into fairy queen awesome fairy queen and then we got gil sylvia gil oh there she is right behind this one into gil parabellum whatever how you ever want to say it we got valentina plotting lord of the seas banger artwork absolutely love it as you can see i'm a big fan of the playmat and we've got her flip side seven lands valentina the overlord oh my goodness it's going to take forever reflect child of potential into refrain child of convergence very nice girl in the twilight garb we've got her here it is Dark Alice, Maiden of Slaughter. 
with friend from another world, Kaiguya, into Kaiguya Moonlit Savior. Classic Moonlit stuff over here. Observer, let's see the flip of you, into Arsonist Alaris. Timeline Arsonist Alaris. Song Trist of Shangri-La. Oh, look at how nice that is. My goodness, guys. Is this just a walk down memory lane for a lot of you guys that have been around with the game as long as uh, 10 years? Pretty insane. 10 years. Congratulations to Force of Will. That's just a one-sided one. Conqueror of the Black Moon, Gil Lapis, into the Progenitor, Gil Lapis. Very nice. Very sharp. Memoria of the Seven Lands, into Babang, Faria, Chosen Girl. Memoria of the Seven Lands, into Melgis, Conqueror of Flame. Memoria of the Seven Lands, into Machinima, Clever Researcher. One of my least favorite artworks for a J-Ruler, I think. I don't know. Never been a fan of that one. We got Arla, Guardian. We got Rezard, Dark Necromancer. Classic artwork on him. Zero. Yes. Zero, zero, zero. Give me the Flashing Mage Warrior. Hell yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Master of the Magic Saber. Looking awesome. I can't wait to get the zeros from this set. I wonder how far they're going in. Um... I wonder how, like, what the most recent set they're going to hit for J-Rulers are. I wonder at what point they stop. I'm really not sure, but Zero looks phenomenal. Mars, we got Mars into Dark Commander of Fire, classic. Charlotte, Determined Girl, into Charlotte, Mage of Sacred Spirit. Beautiful, beautiful foiling. The Monkey King, oh yeah, great. Sky Sage, Sung Wung, very nice, very nice. Ooh, oh, yes, 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 I love this guy. We've got Yogg Sothoth, the cast of a thousand doors. Banger. Oh my gosh, love that. Glorious Mass Crusader into Faria, ruler of divine beasts. Oh man, I can't wait to get into some of these. I'm remembering certain J rulers and I'm just like, oh, that's going to look really sweet. Invading Demon Water, Valentina into Valentina, release terror. Lilith's Petal. Ah, oh, yes, the nine tailed fox. We got some Naruto themes going on in that one. Lumia, the fated rebirth. Oh, Crimson Lotus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is phenomenal. I love this. I love this one. I have the full art of the regular version. Looks super cool. And we got Soul Dark Commander of Steam. Of Steam. Don't have that guy, actually. Gil Hamat. All right, we're going into the double cards. So as you can see, there's one of the sides. We got the flip side here of him into the Ebon Dragon Emperor. And then, bang, we've got this. So you kind of can... We got them separated now, so you can kind of at least put them in a little, in, into some sleeves, into a binder, and display it still, which is nice. We got Gil Lapis of Atrashia, and then we've got the Rebel of Darkness. Kaiguya, Tears of the Moon, into the Millennium Princess, a banger. Oh my goodness. So many, so many good cards. Millennia to the Sacred Dragon. Well, since we're here talking 10th anniversary, and while we're going through these, Tell me, you guys, in the comments, what was your favorite set from the 10 years of Force of Will? What was the one you had the most enjoyment out of? Which ones and which cards and J-Rulers were your favorites? We're getting into Echoes of the New World. That's one of my favorites for sure, outside of like the Valhalla stuff. Echoes of the New World is a big classic for me. Super, super fun. And we got the Brigade Leader here, Albert, with... One of the first uber rares I pulled, actually, was this card. We got Flute, the time-altering priestess. One of the first uber rares. Super, super dope card with the Drazel. And we're almost through this stack, which is crazy. Book of... Yeah, it's we got the books, the fairy tale books, Subjugation. Very nice. A classic Pandora into the Guardian of the Sacred Temple. Leftiel, Favier Leftiel, I can never remember how to say his name. There we go, King of Wind, very nice. Freyla, Freyla is a good one. Of course, you guys know, I just got this one recently in my past videos. We got Freyla, the Revolutionist, awesome card. And we got Pearl Shine, our big panda boy. There we go, Lord of the Mountain, banger. Welser, the Archmage into Welser, the King of Demons, another really cool card. And we got Lunar Swordswoman, as Ayu, Shaman, Swordswoman. Very nice. That is the first freaking stack. Holy crap, I need like a breather. Let's get the second one open here. We're gonna have to fly through a little bit so I can make this video not 40 minutes long, but we got Gil sitting up front here, leading the charge. We're kind of flipping back to some of the older sets now. We got Princess of Fleeting Hope, a awesome card with one of my favorites. 
Amiel, Princess of Despair. What a nice looking card. Fantastic artwork on that one. We got Karuki Rook. Not my favorite of these. That's fine. And we got Shayla. Shayla. Oh, beautiful artwork on this card. Gotta say. Into the Mermaid Princess. But I actually prefer this side. It just looks so beautiful. Such a nice one. We got Speaker. We got Elserod again. Shezerod. Shezerod. There we go. Of the Knights. The Dust Girl. Let's see it. Bang into Scarlet Crimson Beast. We got the little Naralathotep girl going on here. It's time we spinning witch. Very nice. There we go. There we go. We got Cayuga girl right here. So let's throw her down. This is the flip side of that card. And then bang. Look at that, huh? Look at that, eh? Nice. We got Gil Ancestor into Phantom Will Fysing. We got Rhea, fourth daughter. And then there she is again. Really, really cool card. Gotta love the rare ones leaneth priest of something i'm not going to try to pronounce it but that's a classic one from alice origins the first alice origins we're going into machina very nice arla another classic from alice origins very cool reflect oh beautiful card love that one too refrain again this is when we start seeing the uh change color variants into the same artwork style rezard rezard we got gil lapis into Gil Lapis. Wait, really? What changes on this one? Have I never noticed that? Like nothing? Barely anything. There's a different person in the background. That's about it. <laughs> Dark Alice, once again, let's see her. We got Dark Alice, bang. Looking sick, dude. Love that. Magna, creator of rebirth into creator of regalia. There we go. The creator of the regalia. I never knew the lore behind that. Over Azuki, see, we're starting to get into the newer sets. I think this is Dragon Lord, right? Yeah. Last Ascents of Dragonoids. Bang. Lacia. Lass? Lass? Whatever. Last Ascent of Dragonoids. Looking awesome. Love those cards. Celestia. Oh, you guys remember these? This was a good set. This was a solid set, honestly. Really, really sharp. Some really, really cool J rulers. Especially Ragnarok, Invading Guy. He's super cool. Just a non-flip card. Almaris. We're getting into... This is Zero War, right? Almaris? Yeah. Got the Almaris going. We got the Zero Apprentice. And there we go. Apprentice Sage. Very clean looking. We're going to go a little faster since these are the newest ones. We got Mylist here again. And Mojdart. Love that one. Love this girl. She's sick. And we got Fysing, which I don't think I'm still saying correctly, but that's okay. Group Blastula. Ba -ba bing I almost picked this for my play mat today, but I didn't. We got Wolfgang. Oh, that's right. I forgot he wasn't a flip. Excalibur into Faria. Violet. There we go. Violet. Awesome, awesome card. Olivia. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are getting pretty recent. Huh. Wow. That's pretty cool. Brad. Nice. Wolfgang guide. There we go. Wolfgang. Osmodeus here into that same artwork. Osmodeus, different coloring. Dante. Very nice. Fallen Angel Dante. Astema. Beautiful, beautiful card. We have Beatrice. Lovely. Uh, not a ton to see here because, you know, they do just kind of, I mean, Bayal switches it up a little bit, but not a ton. Still the same pose. Carolina into Carolina. Very sick card. I like her artwork. Satan. We got Satan up in here again. Oh, not a flip on that one. Okay. Millennia. Prince into Millennia. Voice of New Generations. Just got that world promo uber rare of this one. And such a nice card. Lunia, the wolf girl. Bada bing into Narlathotep, the true false legend, classic. Mercaeus, wizard of the water. Oh, okay. Wait, are we going backwards now? I'm so confused. These look like we're... Wait, when did these come out? I forget. I can't remember which set these are from. Ally, uh, clearly not one I opened a lot from. Gil Hamat, he controls. Treasonous Emperor, the treasonous emperor of Gil. Very nice. Adam, the little rabbit. I've never gotten the rabbit before, actually. Brunhild. Oh, we're in the Valhallas. Okay, very cool. Very cool, right? Yep, these are all from the starter decks. So I actually don't have... Ah, yes, I don't have her. Isis, man. I don't have the starter decks from Valhalla series, and I really wanted Isis for my collection. I still want to get the regular version, but she is so freaking sweet, man. The 100 Weapon Master. That is so cool. I love her artwork so much, especially the side. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Arthur, we got the King of Machines. He went Cyborg on us. Loki, another really beautiful one from the starters. And then Loki, Witch of Chaos. Very nice. We got the Mimitride Ruler, which I kind of forgot existed. And we got Hanzo, which I kind of forgot was a J Ruler. We got the Lich, Lich the Saint of Death. Dope card. We got Lucifer up in here. 
beautiful looking card. Come on, that's a classic one. Faria into Farla. Just Faria again, the eye looked weird. Melgus, and we've got Melgus. He's got a sword at least. Prissia into Parisia. Beautiful card. Oh man, that looks fire. Man, that really helps it a lot. Valentina into Valentina. Come on, can't complain about the artist behind Valentina. Just beautiful, beautiful artwork. Guardian of the Light Magic Stones. I don't remember this one, honestly. That's a pretty cool dragon guy. Oh man, do I not have that one? Guardian, wait, what are these from? I forget, I'm actually not sure. Ooh, is this from the, what are the sets called? The Vingolf, the Vingolf, right? Aren't these Vingolf guys, like Vingolf 3 or something? Uh, I believe they are, all these dragon ones, which is pretty crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are from the Vingolfs, which I haven't really opened because they're all kind of predetermined sets like this is. It's just the cards you get, you know what you're going to get. No randomness to it. But we do get Champion of the Yadrazo, one of my favorite Prissia artworks because that just looks stunning. I love her headdress. Ally, Ally of Fairies into Unwavering Hope. Again, another one I just got a promo for. It looks beautiful. This card on its own is beautiful. And we've got Alkalite of the Abyss, which we're coming down to it here. Alaris, Demon of Calamity. And then is this the last one? We got Vlad Tepes. Oh boy, into Vlad Tepes. What's the difference here? What's the, what's the difference? I don't see a difference. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. That was a lot of J rulers. I mean, holy crap. These two stacks are just massive man that is it that is the j ruler collection for the 10th anniversary of force of will that was super cool as a fan of the j rulers this was awesome and if you're a fan of force of will go pick one of these up if you like the collecting side of it if you're not a huge collector i think you could probably pass on this one just because it is quite expensive um for the double foiling and stuff and all the cards you're getting it is kind of an expensive set and i kind of wish there was a few bits of little maybe extra exclusives in there besides just the whole layout of the J rulers just something a little bit extra you know what I'm happy with it I think it's a really cool product and I'm glad they did something for their 10th anniversary they deserve it you guys have been around for 10 years it's awesome the game's still going and it's still going strong we get new fans every day and it's amazing I can't wait for more sets I can't wait to open more boxes old and new and if you want to see more of those come join the channel subscribe and let me know in the comments what other sets you want to see me open up next. I appreciate you staying all the way to the end of the video. Go have yourself a great week and let me know in the comments what your favorite J-Ruler from this set was. We will see you guys in the next video.